feel like I say this a lot, but honestly, I think this is one of the most amazing recipes I've ever created. So I've always been able to make healthy muffins, but they've been more paleo based, I suppose. And the other day when I wanted to make my paleo muffins, I ran out of eggs. So instead I used a flax egg and some chia seeds. And honestly, I was really, really surprised how well they worked out. So I know with a lot of baking, you have to stick to the recipe to a T. However, I hate doing that. Obviously try to stick to the main ingredients, but if you don't like something, definitely swap it out for something different. So you don't have to add a flax egg and chia, you can add one or the other, but for me I just found that adding both of them together made it a really smooth gooey consistency and nice and fluffy. Put some chia seeds in a bowl with some water, kept it in the fridge for it to soak up all the water so now it's like a gelatin kind of eggy consistency I suppose. And again, with the rice malt syrup, if you don't want to use rice malt syrup, you can use agave, honey if you're not vegan. Couldn't decide what flavor I wanted. I was out of chocolate, a berry one, and fig. So I thought, hashtag YOLO, I'm gonna make all of them. But instead of having to put all of these ingredients together three different times, I decided to make one big batch of the base batter and then separate it into three different bowls so that you can make three different flavors. Okay, so here's my trick. I know a lot of vegan recipes use coconut flour. However, I just really don't like coconut flour. To me, it's really, for lack of a better term, floury. I love buckwheat, raw or activated buckwheat kernels, otherwise known as bikinis, and then I blitz it up in my Nutribullet and that creates buckwheat flour. Oh, I forgot to mention also gluten-free because I'm gluten-free. <laughs> Obviously, one of the most important aspects of me and my cooking is taste testing. I like to just taste test along the way, make sure it's tasting nice and sweet. And I always remind you guys, it tastes sweeter in the batter than when it does when it's cooked. So if you taste it and you're thinking, mm, it's not very sweet, I would highly recommend adding a little more sweetness to it because when it cooks out, it's going to be even more savory. So my first flavor is going to be chocolate. And I thought this was very relevant because Easter is coming up. So these ones were for everyday life, but I think when I remake them for Easter, I wanna make some cute little bunny ears or something on top and make them look very festive and Eastery. So like I said, when creating your flavors, just be really flexible and use your intuition and use, I guess, your common sense. So for instance, if you're going to add some raw cacao, obviously that's going to dry your mixture up, so you need to make it a little more wet. So here you can see in most of my flavors, I think, I add a dash of almond milk, and that's literally just so I can mix it together properly. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is 100% the best flavor of this entire video. If you're going to just make one, make this one. This is burnt caramel and spiced fig. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. I think dried figs are my favorite dried fruit right now and they're just so gooey and they work so well in muffins. Okay, my third flavor is really random, but it tasted incredible. So I don't really like rose perfumes, but I love rose water and rose petals, and it just adds a really decadent, expensive taste to whatever you're baking. So I suppose it turned into a little bit of a macadamia rose berry medley, and it tasted incredible. So this batter ended up filling 12 muffin tins. It could have filled 13, like I had one left over, but I'm gonna be honest, I just ate the batter because I was like, I don't have another muffin tin, I can't be bothered. You could make 13, but I ate one of them. So I got 12 in the end. And look, 
guys. I don't want to toot my own horn here, but I think they look pretty gourmet and pretty fancy. So there you have my three flavor combos for my vegan muffins. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely try them out. If you're going to try one, do the burnt caramel and spiced fig because it is incredible. And if you have specific foods, sweet, savory, whatever, leave it in the comments below and I'll try to make a healthy version of it for you because as you guys know, the kitchen is my happy place. So I'm more than happy to create more recipe videos for you guys. All right, that is going to do it for me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.